Hello everyone, welcome to another adventure. As you maybe can tell by the intro I just showed you, I'm no longer in Europe, so we've come to Costa Rica and we're now here at our first part of the trip in Manuel Antonio. So there's the national park, Manuel Antonio National Park, which we're gonna visit tomorrow, hopefully to see some wildlife. But I have to tell you, uh, already seen so much wildlife, much more than on, for example, our trip to Colombia. So for example, We've seen a sloth crossing the street right in front of us. We've seen aras right in front of our apartment. We've seen different types of monkeys, iguanas. So it's just awesome in terms of wildlife. In terms of photography, haven't done anything yet. So we're here, as I said, Manuel Antonio and it's high tide. So on high tide in the evening, all the beaches will be completely covered by water. So there's not much in terms of foreground. So come here to the edge of one of the beaches so as you see water's already rushing in and I think the tide line will be up there so I'm not sure if I'm gonna take a photo from down here I'm still thinking about getting up to those rocks but currently police is up there I'm not sure why but yeah I don't think it's a good idea to set up my tripod right next to them or well, maybe it's a good idea at least I'm safe there <laughs> but anyways just wanted to start this vlog and yeah see what the next days bring we're gonna be in costa rica for 10 weeks so actually there will be quite a few videos gonna show you this beautiful country and yeah enough waffling now i now want to enjoy this sunset a bit maybe take a photo if i take one i'm gonna show you now otherwise yeah we'll be back with this video in the national park and also on some other places we're gonna visit down south Inside of the park, Manuel Antonio and at one of the beautiful beaches and I have to say those beaches really are beautiful and they would make for a great subject but unfortunately the park closes at 4 p.m. So that's the thing with national parks in Central and also South America, they always close quite early. We had the same in Ecuador a few years ago, so usually 4 o'clock, 4.30, so long before sunset those parks close to, yeah, to protect the wildlife. So, yeah, it's a bit of a shame in terms of landscape photography so we're gonna head south in the next days to some more beaches where i think i can photograph for sunset so it's not a national park it's just outside so i'll be able to take some photos and i hope to find similar subject matter here so rocky beaches palm trees and yeah Aside from the scenery, the park so far, we've seen, a bit, we've seen a bit of wildlife, so some monkeys, some iguanas, a sloth up in the trees, but not much more than, than we saw outside of the park already. So in terms of wildlife, it wasn't that spectacular or as spectacular as I thought. And back there, a monkey tries to steal my bag. So let's have a look. Yeah, you really have to be careful here. <laughs> yeah, and we're now gonna explore a few other beaches here. So there's another one over there. And then on the other side of this island. And yeah, then I think we're gonna head out of the park again. And maybe this evening for sunset, try again the other beach. But as I said yesterday, there's too much tide and uh, it's not really possible to take a good foreground photo or a photo with good foreground. 
So there hasn't been any landscape photography in this video so far and I think uh, this will also not change. So this video is more of a behind the scenes of me traveling. So not really a photo vlog as usual. And uh, I just have to do it like this now because uh, we'll be off the grid in a few days. And if I don't finish this video off now for this first part, I won't upload it for two weeks, I think. So yeah. Let's do this or put this under the category travel behind the scenes. And yet yeah, to make it a real behind the scenes, I also want to show you a bit uh, where I, where we're staying and where my office is during those trips. So it's not only we are out in the field exploring, taking photos, there's also planning going on because those 10 weeks in Costa Rica are not completely planned. So uh, yeah, I also have to do some research about places we want to visit, also edit videos like this one. And basically here's where I'm currently doing this. So we're here in a beautiful apartment um, just outside of Manuel Antonio. It's called the Caribou and I'll leave a link of, for that. It's a bit over our uh, budget, it's $80. So we are currently more planning like 50 to $60 per day per apartment, but it's so beautiful. So it's really worth the money could even be more expensive so back there do you see those trees and everything this is where i recorded the footage of the monkeys which you saw in the beginning of the video also up there on the roof let's see if it's there there's actually an iguana you see it <laughs> it's making a lot of noise when it moves around on the roof currently it's just chilling in the sun so don't want to disturb him and yeah we have a hammock we have good internet and currently I can't really work with my laptop out here because it's just too warm too humid so it's inside charging I usually do the editing of the videos in the morning and also in the evening because with 30 degrees then editing video on the laptop with the high humidity um, yeah that's not the best idea so uh, I just gonna enjoy this day a bit we're not planning to do a lot today because tomorrow is another travel day so we're headed to Uvita which is farther south and this is also where I plan to upload this video afterwards we're going to Drake Bay and that's a bit more of the grid we're even beyond Drake Bay in a place then called San Josecito and this is just outside of a national park so this is where we'll definitely take some photos also for sunset and sunrise uh, Uvita will be similar also there's national park so beaches close beaches open at certain times so I'm not sure but hopefully I will also already start some photography there but till then just give you a final look here of the surroundings also there's a little kitchen so we're not eating out we cooking our own food this way we can yeah, save a lot of money but I have to tell you um, if you're in Costa Rica prices are pretty steep so um, going to the supermarket prices are a bit higher even than in Germany so it's not like okay you're cooking your own food you save a lot of money it's more like typical if you're in Europe you'll spend the same here if you eat out um, depends where you are I think so Manuel Antonio National Park it's a very touristy area so the restaurants are not that cheap so not what you would think of uh, yeah, for example South America was always a cheap option to eat out in Costa Rica you always have to check a bit where you are maybe go to some less touristy places but yeah for now with the kitchen it's just nice to just cook your own food okay so yeah i think that could be it with the video maybe i head out for sunset so maybe photographing down to that direction so there's a hill which i can climb and maybe get some views but uh, it's not that ideal in terms of foreground and everything so uh, not what i'm here for and as i have 10 weeks there's no need to rush it that's also something important i learned on my first travels around the world don't put too much pressure on yourself if you're in a long-term travel it's not a sprint it's more like a marathon so I'll have my chance to photograph also currently we're traveling by bus which yeah, reduces my flexibility to get to certain places 
to certain times but we just rented a car for three weeks so in february we'll have a car so in this is really the time where i have to make the most out of it it's also what i'm using the time for now to really plan this itinerary so we're gonna most likely see a lot of waterfalls mountains forests all that stuff and yeah for now focus more on the beach but yeah that's enough talk uh, if you have questions or are also interested in visiting costa rica just leave those i try to answer them in upcoming videos as i learn more and more about this country but for now i hope you don't mind that this video was not so much about photography but more about travel and also for those videos just want to share this there's always an article on my homepage in the blog where i put some links some more information maybe some tips also if i take photos they're also there i'll leave the article for this video if it's already finished in the description below but now yeah see you in the next one bye